Alright guys, so in today's video I'm going to cover the color uh, channel and the diffusion channel. Pretty much your color channel is your uh, standard base color. And think about all these different channels as layers. So for example, color would be like your layer 1 in Photoshop, diffusion would be layer 2, luminous layer 3, and so on. So your color channel, you can do obviously, you know, your basic color. You can change the color to anything you want here. And uh, in texture, you can load an image or you can use any of the different uh, effects they have here. And also you can choose uh, the way the light falls off. So let me just make this bigger. You can see a little bit better. Well, actually, let me open in the window. So you can see the diffusion fall off, how the light changes, basically, uh, you know, how the light falls off the, your object. You can change it in the model preset or the diffusion uh, fall off. So you have uh, your color here, and then uh, you can load in the texture if you want. And for the diffusion channel, uh, what it's used for is it just makes some kind of imperfections in your texture. So obviously you can also uh, you know, use any of the effects you have here or load, uh, load up an image. So for example, if you do uh, something like noise, you can see a big difference. But try not to overdo it. Maybe uh, go for something like 50%. And also you can maybe create like a layer node and uh, have some kind of uh, mask going on so it doesn't, the imperfection can show up in every little detail on your object. So what I have here is I have this uh, wood material set up for you guys to show you a better example how, how diffusion and color channel will be used. So if you put it side by side here, so this is your color channel. I have uh, this image load up. It's just a uh, wooden some kind of wood texture that I found. So this is uh, loaded up in my color channel. And uh, for the color, it doesn't matter because the texture is overriding it. And for the diffusion channel, I have uh, this layer node set up. And it's basically ambient occlusion uh, overlaid on top of uh, this texture map, which is a uh, grayscale uh, ambient occlusion texture. So what it does is I have uh, two different renders here. Let me just open them up. Uh, let's go to uh, Picture Viewer. Okay. Just make this a little bit bigger. So as you can see, this is the render uh, with the diffusion channel, and this is without it. And all it does is just adds a little bit more of realism to your images. So what I would suggest is when you're working with different channels, start from top and work your way down. So starting with color, you know, choose a color or choose a texture, you know, make sure everything's good here. Move down, go with diffusion, you know, maybe use some kind of noise or different effects they have here. You know, ripple, ambient occlusion is just one of them, but there's a lot of different things you can do. Or you can make your own Photoshop and bring them in and uh, move your way down. So don't, you, don't try to use all the channels, just try to use, uh, you know, the channels you need. So for wood, maybe you need color. Diffusion, transparency you're going to need, luminance you're going to need, reflecting channel just a little bit, and then uh, you're going to need bump, normal, and so on. Uh, maybe a little bit of displacement if you want to go for even more realistic results. But anyway, guys, uh, hopefully this uh, helped you in any way. If you have any questions, uh, please comment below and uh, give it a like if this video helped you. All right, guys, have a good one.